Hey y'all, I'm supposed to be doing this with an American accent. I'm not even going to try and explain that, but that's all you get. Right. That looks kind of impressive. Oh, there's still a lot of work to do. This is the three, the three cell one. It's only three deep, but I'm going to try just putting it in there. I've been very careful with the first two. Just trying it out for an idea. Uh, it's also going to be the lowest value pack. So hopefully being the furthest away from the, the cables, it's also going to draw the least amount from that battery pack. However, I'm probably going to run the positive from here and change it down to here. So it might be the middle, so it might be the same. So I'm going to run the negative similarly down to here and the cable back up the top. Oh, actually, no, the cable's just out of there, so that's nice and easy. So, what do you reckon, YouTube? I think we're getting there. I really think we're getting there. And the bus bars, oh, they're, they're pretty square. That one's a little bit out. But <laughs> I guess that's what you get from a 15-year-old bench press, you know, made by some Taiwanese company somewhere, I don't know. The top are a little bit left and right but I could probably square them up so they look better I'm going to cut those bolts down a little bit I think just for the aesthetics of it but overall I must say I'm pretty happy with that I didn't think it would look like that neat I thought it would look pretty horrible actually but well let's start charging that up and let's see if it makes any difference I'm only going to test that bank I'm not going to test the other two because that would be a silly test to just do the 1000 watt load on that bank. Don't know if I'm going to live feed it or not because they tend to be exciting for me and boring for everybody else on the planet. But I might just video it or something. Anyway, tubers, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.